Hello, and welcome to episode three of Watch My Pipe. My name is Kurt, and today I have a very special episode, my first, first impressions video for Haunted Bookshop. But first, I wanna do a quick wrist check. Today I'm wearing my blue Tudor Pelagos that I picked up last summer, and a little backstory on this watch. I was really between two models at the time. Uh, it was a toss up between this and the then newly released Blue Black Bay 58. Now, if you know watches, you're probably scratching your head right about now, but for me it really came down to two things. Uh, first is size. As you'll notice, this fits very comfortably on my wrist. Um, I tend to lean towards a larger size that I also don't have anything smaller than a 40 millimeter watch. So the fact that the Black Bay 58 is a 39 millimeter, Tudor Bellicose is a 42 millimeter, this fits very nicely. But it's also the uniqueness of this watch. So over here I'm going to throw up a picture of the watch in normal light. And as you can see, it's got that really nice blue to it, not just on the dial, but on the bezel. And on this side, we're gonna take a look at the loom. And as you'll see, the loom is not just on the dial, the markers, the hands, but it's also on the bezel. So for me, this was a huge selling point. I fell in love with this watch and much like with anything, including buying pipes, and if you were paying attention to Mike's episode, uh, Briar, Briar Blues last week, mentioned something about making sure that you buy the watch that really sings to you and, and holds a special place in your heart. So don't always go chasing the hot watch. Buy what really comes to you and something you'll really appreciate for the rest of your life. So moving on back to today's purpose, and the first impressions again of Haunted Bookshop, I first want to do a, another shout out to Allegheny Smokeworks in Pittsburgh, PA. So I travel a lot for work and our team meeting this past quarter was in Pittsburgh. So I always try to frequent a tobacconist that's local to the area. And I found these guys on Google Maps wasn't too far away from the hotel we were staying at. And these guys were absolutely awesome. Uh, I picked up Haunted Bookshop based on their recommendation and a few other blends, including McBaron's Solid Mixture. They gave me a sample of this to try. Uh, and this is probably gonna be on the next tobacco review after I get done the review next week for Haunted Bookshop. But uh, as I mentioned, in my previous video, this is a blend that has a little bit more backstory and uniqueness to it than I realized. And what really makes this blend unique is the fact that it's named in honor of the novel, The Haunted Bookshop, written by Christopher Morley. So I've taken the time to actually read that novel this week, and I'm probably about two-thirds of the way through. Um, and I wrote some notes down here uh, not to give away the plot of the story in case you haven't read it and you'd like to read it, but it's set in New York uh, just after World War I, and it's a sequel, actually, to his first novel, Parnassus on Wheels. Uh, the main character is Roger Mifflin, and it's not so much about the supernatural uh, that you would think in Haunted Bookshop, but it is a suspense novel. And to not give the plot away, but... Essentially, there is a plot to kill President Woodrow Wilson via bomb placed in uh, one of his favorite books. So uh, that's not giving too much away. Um, so hopefully you can go take a look at that book, read it yourself. And what, again, makes it unique to this blend and why it was named in honor is throughout the novel, it depicts the old days of smoking. And it's really quite interesting to read the book and see that smoking a pipe is actually part of the plot line. So no spoilers. I'm not going to give any more information about the, the story. You'll have to tune in and subscribe for next week. Uh, but here we go. 
I have a fresh tin of Haunted Bookshop, okay, purchased from Allegheny Smokeworks. And also, real quick, too, before I open this tin up, uh, I will also, for the first time, be loading and smoking this in my newly acquired 1991 Castello trademark pipe of the year that I purchased from Mike at Briar Blues. So, Mike, thank you again. I uh, still can't believe I was lucky enough to pick this up. So, getting into Haunted Bookshop again. This is from Cornell and Deal. It was blended by the late Bob Ronowski. Again, it is a Burley blend, so there's Burley, Virginia, and Perique. Uh, there is supposedly no flavoring added. So let's open up the tin here, take a look. It's always got to be careful of that last little piece here so the tobacco doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay, I'll take this off. And again, I'm still working on the um, the idea of what I'm going to be doing here with the presentation, the moisture, the cut, etc. Here, so uh, just looking at it and being a barley blend, I don't even have to stick my nose into it. I can smell it's already got that toasty, chocolatey, nutty aroma. Um, it's actually it's got a good moisture content to it right out of the tin. I've uh, seen other blends by Cornell and Deal be pretty dry. Uh, this actually has got uh, pretty good moisture to it, so uh, should actually smoke pretty well. It's got more of a it's a it's a long ribbon, almost kind of to me broken flake slash coarse cut. Uh, so we can kind of see it here. Uh, it's got some long pieces to it here, right? But uh, Smells good. Kind of get that, again, chocolatey smell. Um, and I can smell the perique. It's it's definitely got a little, little uh, raisiny smell to it as well. So uh, going to take my pipe here. Should be, should be able to smoke this pretty well. So I'll take a second and load up the pipe. Now, I know this is a um, highly debated slash contested uh, process. How does, how does everybody load their pipe? Well, to me, it's a little bit different for every pipe. I, I have a pretty good collection, and for me, it really boils down to the diameter of the chamber itself. So I find that with the um, smaller diameters, because um, I tend to always pack it a little bit too hard, try to loosen up a little bit, but uh, this is actually packing pretty nice. It's got a nice springiness to it. So this should smoke pretty well here today. All right, so we got this loaded up. Make sure we got this all good to go here. Clean up some little pieces. I don't know about you, but whenever I load a pipe, I always make a mess. So we'll clean this up a little bit later. But at the uh, old uh, Dunhill here. So let's get this loaded and get it going here. Mm-hmm, I can definitely taste the burley. Let's tamper down. All right, let's get her going here. Nice billowing smoke right from the get-go and already before i even take another puff there is a very unique taste to this uh compared to some of the other burley blends that i've had uh right off the bat i am getting that burley taste that you know you get 
but the Perique, as soon as I retrohaled, it gave me that instant tingle, and already it's got a really, really nice feel, because I've never really been much of a Burley fan, even though, you know, with some Balkans and some other, you know, mixed blends that are out there, um, Americana, you know, has a lot of Kia in it as well. I'm a huge lot of Kia English fan. This has got a very unique, very um, balanced, I guess is a very good word, balanced feel to it. So let me uh, puff on this a little more and we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. It's taking a little bit to get it going here. One more time. I'm liking this. This is actually a very, very nice surprise. Uh, I, in general, don't smoke too many burly forward base blends. Um, this also does have Virginia. I'm getting a very, very light sweetness. Not too much, hardly hardly noticeable. I, I'm definitely getting the burly, and in the retro hail, the perique, the tingliness. It's it's got the right amount for me. Um, it's not too in your nose if you know what I'm talking about, um, and it's not light. Uh, it's 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 definitely impactful. You're gonna feel it, but. Um, It's a very, very nice, dry, cool smoke. Uh, I've been puffing on this now for a little bit, and it's not getting too hot, uh, especially in this pipe. It's got a little bit more of a thin wall to it, so uh, this pipe is smoking beautifully, by the way, Mike, so uh, I am loving this already. This is the first time I'm smoking it, and I got this from you over a week ago, so I've been holding on to this, waiting for today to do this. So uh, that took a lot of restraint from me. So uh, again, I appreciate it. Thank you so again, so much again. But um, yeah, it's not, not too cigarette-y uh, for being a burly. Uh, and that's really what turns me off to a lot of those blends. Uh, it's got a very, very smoothness to it. Um, you know, it, it almost, it almost has kind of a cigar feel to it, if you know what I mean. I, I don't believe there's any cigar leaf or anything like that in there, but uh, th this reminds me a little bit more of smoking a cigar, if that makes any sense. So I am enjoying this blend. Um, I will spend the rest of this week going through this tin, getting some more uh, experience with this blend, putting some notes down. Like I said, I already got some of this going. Um, again, presentation is very nice it is like i said it's it's got some at least this tin for me has some longer strips to it. it's definitely more of a coarse cut um moisture is for me perfect out of the tin uh the tin note is right up my alley uh it's nice to have that uh waft as soon as i open the tin uh just hits you right in the face without even sticking your nose in it um but we'll get into more of the mechanics, strength, flavor, taste, etc. Uh, next week. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know some of you have uh, come on over from Briar Blues. Again, Mike, I can't thank you enough for that shout out. Um, I hope you do enjoy this series as I go along and expand. Uh, similar to the beginning of this video, 
with the uh, quasi watch review on the tutor. So uh, hope you enjoyed everything and look forward to hopefully having you come back next week for the full review and probably be adding some content here and there and possibly over the weekend and we'll see where this goes. I'm excited to be here. I appreciate all you out there. I hope everyone stays safe and well and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.